Hi there, in this video we're going to go through the jump if instruction. This is the last jump instruction we're going to do. Now, the way it works is we will jump if and we'll jump if to this, the next address, okay? So that's the, the contents of the next address in the instruction, okay? So it's similar to the previous instruction that we've we, we seen. So there's actually two um, bytes here. So the first byte is the the instruction and the next byte is the address that we will go to. Okay, so what about the jump if? Well, we're, the actual instruction code for the jump if will be 0101 and the last four bits that we see here, okay, are it will jump if the, there's a carry or it will jump if a is larger than B, or it'll jump if the uh, there's an if they're equal, and it'll jump if there's a zero. So of course, you you could have 15 different variations. You could have you can jump if carry and equals or carry and larger and zero, etc. So we're not going to go through all of those, but you'll see all of them whenever you look at the little assembler that we've built, I've built in. Uh, Microsoft Excel okay so again this is an awkward one to show whenever we're in um, the simulation tool but we'll show you a part of it and you'll get a gist of what it is what we're doing and, and, and why it is we're doing it okay so let's have a little look and we'll get into logism okay so that's the circuit there the top level circuit so I think what we'll do is we'll just get into the control section you'll see it and within the control section so, you see there's a lot of stuff being stripped away in this, and there's a little bit being added. So the bits that have been added are the carry, um, A is larger, equal, and Z here. And the bottom, they're going through a set of four AND gates, and the input comes from the, the input here. Okay, so that's the actual um, instruction. So, instruction is 0, 1. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do it at this level. 0, 1, 0, 1. And let's make the... Uh, the Z one, okay. If the Z is is um, set, okay. So now you can see that what will happen is it will pass through these AND gates, whatever one happens to be set, okay. So in this instance here, Z is high, so so there is a, a there is a, a zero, okay. And when we set the value here high, it will pass that on. And it will say, okay, so then it goes through an OR gate and it's going to set this high. So let's also look and we can see that the 0101 gives us the code for the 3x8 decoder. Now we're down here onto this AND gate in the decoder. And these are going to the 1, 2 and 3 positions. So we're going to be running this line here, this line and this line whenever we get through the steppers at 4, 5, and 6, okay? So, when we get to the stepper at 4, actually, I think we can... Oh, well, I'll know actually work very well when we could do that. Well, so, we'll, we'll just read through the stepper, okay, first of all, just to show you what's going to happen. So, we get to step 4, then this will go high. Now, the instruction address, well, first of all, of the, the bus will have a, a, a 1 in it, okay? So, that means that we're going to add an extra one on okay and that extra one the reason for adding an extra one on is that it's the same as in the similar one is that the second byte is actually the data so whenever we finish this instruction we don't want to go on to just the next byte because that next byte isn't the next instruction it's actually the data from the previous instruction so we don't want to do that so that adding that extra one on helps to well will prevent that okay so also the instruction address register is enabled so whatever's an instruction address register it goes on to the bus and it sets in the memory address register okay and also the accumulator okay is set with the new value um that we've put in via this bus okay so we're setting everything up so that um in the next couple of steps we're going to make a choice okay so you'll see that choice come along so when we go on to step five okay then this is going to go live okay so 
what's going to happen is the accumulator is going to be enabled okay and it's going to be sitting here and it's going to go into the instruction address register okay so that there means that we're sitting ready to go to the uh, the next instruction okay remember that the next instruction is is not the next byte in memory it's the one past that because the next byte in memory is the data in this existing instruction okay so we're sitting there and we're just waiting we're saying okay we can go to the next instruction okay but it won't actually go to the next instruction there will be there'll be a choice okay so the choice will be occur here at this point here so if we go on to step number six step number six um, this is high and the step goes high so now we've got an extra input here and we're waiting on that input now if the zero is set okay and we've made a, a, a choice for that then we will have an output high here so if that outputs high that means that this value is high so that means in that case when we have made that um, that if so if the zero is set then it means that we will now get <coughs> the ram enabled onto the bus okay and that ram value will then be and it will then be set in the instruction address register so here's the choice here the choice is do we use the next value for the instruction address register or do we use the val a value coming from the ram for the instruction address register okay and that that's the choice that can that, that, that's been made here and we can make that choice here via these four inputs and that will give us 15 different variations of these inputs that we can choose in order to get that output now I, i'll try and show you that um, within the simulation but it's not completely uh it doesn't work its way through all of it so if i go into um the top level okay the cpu and I, i'll reset everything and i'll go in here and i'll go zero one zero one and we'll leave that out for the moment and we'll just put in an input in here so let's just have a look and we'll see how it's working through so we'll go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 all right and the 12th one okay that's on that one there so instruction address register the existing address there is set on the bus that ah, happens to be zero so that's zero and then what we'll do is we'll set that okay we set that in the memory address register so it points to to address zero in the bus and we'll also set the accumulator up with the new value and that that extra one has been added in so there's a new value in the accumulator okay so we're setting things up ready for the choice okay so now if we go if we get in here we'll see that sitting here and that's us in that position there okay now if we move on to the next position cpu we'll go one two and i'll just show you that there so now we're taking the one out of the accumulator right and it would actually and if it was working fully but we it won't work fully because we don't have the fetch exit fetch cycle in the moment but we would be putting in a an extra um we wouldn't be in at, at, at position one it would be in at position two okay um but the simulation doesn't show you that there but that goes in the instruction address register so instruction address register sitting there with what would be normally the 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 next byte plus one okay and now um and we can see that in here so that's where we're sitting here at the moment okay i'll actually put on one more so it's the set goes high okay so that's us setting that and in instruction address register so now we're going through and we're ready to do the choice so what will happen in the next clock cycle is the next step or position is when we go into six we can override the value in this instruction address register we can override it by the value in the ram so we'll override it by the value in the ram okay if 
we have one of these um, has come true okay so if the zero um, equals a is larger or carry has come true then this line here will go high okay and if that line goes high then we now pass the ram value into the instruction address register so we are jumping to that new position based on whether these inputs are any of these inputs are high okay so and if they aren't high then it just ignores this nothing happens in this cycle this uh, step number six it just goes on to step number seven and then it's pointing to the next um, address okay so that's how it's working but it doesn't quite run through it within this simulation for um, various various reasons you know and I, I would have to do a bit of tweaking uh, in order to, to to provide that within this simulation what happens at the moment is it, it, when I put it on the next position there it, it oscillates it oscillates because there's, there's two things trying to change at once and there's two things trying to change at once because I'm having to nobble this by um, putting an input in here and also trying to uh, uh, adjust them when this the set appears here and it, and also I've got the flag set here and I've got this one here set and and those are set like that um, for because I don't have a reset fixed within this simulation at the, at the, at the moment okay now I don't need to bother going through that you can see I think from the section here it, it's reasonably pl plain and it shows you um, the direction of, of flow okay so that's the um, the last if set, um, statement uh, so the next one is a, a clear flag which is quite straightforward and after that we'll go on and that's the, the, the control section and expect complete so we'll be able to go on to the top level um, the simulation with the entire control section built up and when the entire control section is built up we don't run into all these difficulties of requiring you know, um, the, the requiring parts of the control section that we have haven't yet built okay so that's all for that and uh, i'll catch you on the next video goodbye